everyone welcome to my channel my name is Tommy and for today's video I decided that we're just gonna do a topic on law um, because that's what I study at university at the University of Brighton and yeah I'm just gonna uh, let you guys know some of the expectations or like some of the things you can expect within the course and also some tips as well that you guys could probably use because law it's not easy it's not easy let me tell you law is not an easy course um but yeah let's just get into the video okay so the very first thing i have is that for the people coming in from a level to university who have never ever studied law at a level it's okay it's not like it's not it doesn't mean you're not gonna know anything it doesn't mean that you're going to be disadvantaged in any way really and truly i think universities actually prefer it when people don't study law at a level because they prefer you to come into university with like a fresh brain not knowing anything so they can actually like teach you properly like from the ground up Do you know what i mean so they can like you know mold you from the ground up i guess um but yeah like they don't it doesn't matter basically like if you did, didn't do law at a level i didn't do law at a level i did biology chemistry and business at a level and um i wasn't really disadvantaged in any Ooh, god i can't speak today disadvantage i wasn't really disadvantaged in any way just because um they literally taught us from scratch so law is a course that you can do even if you did like i don't know physics there's, I'm pretty sure there's people on my course right now who actually did physics for A-level and they're doing law. So really, truly, like, I don't think it's really that big of a deal if you don't do law for um, A-level. Um, it's okay. It's okay to do whatever you want for A-level um, and then do law. Um, yeah, obviously now the expectations for, like, grades um, to get into into university for law is quite high um yeah it can range from like medicine like grade requirements to like i don't even know just like average um what average stuff i don't even know what to say um it can range from like aaa to like ccc basically for law but obviously i don't think they really like you to have ccc they would prefer you to obviously have the higher grades. So I think for um, law, if you are thinking about doing law, really, really try and get your grades up to like a really, really good, you know, average, like maybe like AAB, ABB type of thing. Um, even if you can't get the AAA, I guess. Um, just try and get above a C, I guess. Yeah, that's what I would suggest. Um, and also really look into universities for law because each university in that does law um don't they don't do the same modules so my university for example is um really business based so we do stuff like well in first year anyway oh i'm thirsty i'm thirsty yeah in first year we did um business planning that was i think that was kind of just to ease us into like the whole business thing but like now i'm doing law of organizations i'm doing um actually i think that's pretty much it <laughs> actually we're doing contract law which is kind of businessy um but they just yeah mine is more business based um like we literally were the Brighton Business School. That's where the law course is based. So yeah, I think you should really research before you think about doing law, um, research the different modules that each university does. Cause I'm pretty sure like Cardiff maybe focuses on more like the criminal aspects or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, and then the next thing I have written down for what you guys can expect from the law course is reading these this is where oh these these 
this is where all my tips are gonna come out right so let me start with the expectations for reading the expectations for reading for law are really really high like we read a lot i'm pretty sure for first year i bought about 15 books and they all cost like around 300 pounds because each book is like 30 pounds yeah um <laughs> it was really it was really difficult when i first started to actually get my head around the whole reading thing because i was just like why am i reading like eight different books a week like they would give you oh guys i'm so sorry i'm so tired <laughs> anyway so yeah they would give you um for my university anyway they would give you like eight different i said eight what am i saying guys oh my goodness i've lost my train of thought after that yawn anyway um for my university they would give you questions and then within the questions they tell you they set you like chapters for you guys to read um and within the chapters obviously you can find the answers to the questions and this is where my tip is going to come out for this so i don't think i don't think you need to read the whole chapter to answer the questions for the seminars you can if you want to because like it is genuinely like interesting um but i think if you just want to answer if you want to do the basic minimum and you want to just like answer the seminar questions you can generally like find it under the like subheadings of each chapter because they kind of just lay it out for you anyway um the things i think you need to take your time reading are more the cases um because cases actually kind of help you like understand the laws a bit more um i don't really know how to say it the cases that they use ex as examples kind of make you understand the laws a bit more i also think it's good to focus on terminology within um within the law course because sometimes teachers can say teachers god am i in secondary school we don't need teachers no more lecturers <laughs> lecturers um can sometimes say stuff and you don't know like what they're saying for example um a lecturer could use the the word the terminology ultravirus and am I saying that right? Ultra virus? Ultra virus? Ultra virus. Ultra virus. It sounds so weird to me. Anyway, yeah, they could use the terminology ultra virus, and that literally just means out of like out of the the situation or something could be like out of jurisdiction. That's literally what that word means. But the lecturer could be talking and talking, saying this word a billion times, and you just because you don't know the terminology, you don't know what the, ter the lecturer is saying. So I actually think learning terminology is really good for studying law and learning about the cases and the decisions. The deci Ooh, guys, I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, the decisions I think as well within cases are really, really um, important just to see because that's the outcome of the case like it's good to know the outcome of the case no no anyway yes so i think in terms of reading yeah that's what i would advise you guys to do um also in terms of buying books because books are really expensive um i'm not sure about other universities but i know for university of brighton a lot of lecturers like they're actually really understanding about like how expensive books are so they know that like some people can't afford to buy like all the books so most of the time you can get a lot they have like several copies within the library as well the bad thing is you won't be able to like highlight and annotate and stuff like that which that's one of the things um that helps me revise so you know that's why i bought the book but um yeah the library university of brighton they have like several copies of the book which you could just take and obviously be returning and stuff like that um also lecturers tend to put up like certain chapters that they've set on on the uh, oh, in the online library 
um, because they know people, some people can't really afford it. So they put it in the online library. Once you get to University of Brighton, they do show you how to like access all this stuff that I'm talking about. But um, you can get the chapter that they set on, in the online library. You can actually sometimes, I think you can get like the whole book in the online library as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a library, no? I don't know. Um, and then I think they also put cases as well and like journal articles and all, like just all sorts on the online library because they do know that like some people can't access uh, don't have the money sorry to um get these stuff these things so um yeah like i would suggest if you don't if you do want to buy the book then buy the book but if you don't then i would suggest maybe talking to your university to ask for like alternate alternate oh, oh my god do you know what this is actually really annoying why can't i speak Anyway, as I was saying before, my brain interrupted me. Um, oh God. Um, you can literally just ask your university if there are any like alternate, um, oh, alternate, alternative. If there are any alternative options for um, you if you can't afford the books, because I know most people can't afford the books. I mean, obviously, I had the help of my parents, but. Yeah, I know most people can't afford the books. So I think it's really, really good to just talk to university, talk to some of your lecturers about um, any alternative, you know, forms of reading um, that you can do or any alternative ways to get the reading or get the books. Um, but yeah, guys, law is really tough as a whole anyway. Like, not, to, not just about the cases, the terminology, but the actual content itself get like there's certain topics that it takes a while to kind of just wrap your head around and i think law is full of them so i do think law is something that if you are going to study it you have to be prepared that oh you have to be prepared that um there's certain things you are really not going to understand and certain things you are going to have to spend like your own time just kind of going through again and again and again and again um just so that you understand it and you can you know you know what you're talking about yeah guys that's it for the video um i really really hope this video was helpful to you guys and kind of gave you a little insight into me i guess not really actually i need to do like a get to know me type of thing i might do that um yeah because it, like law is me but it's not really me you know it's not really me um i just want to be me um yeah but this is it is partly me because it is my degree it is not what i want to do as a career but i really really hope this video was helpful to you guys for anyone studying law or thinking about studying law or i don't even know just picking it or, i don't even know i just hope it was helpful all around um but yeah guys please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys